Right, hello YouTube. This is a very quick DIY guide to how to install artificial grass properly. It's one of the things that we see on social media quite a lot and it's one of the things where you get a lot of bad advice given. A lot of people are saying put timbers down for the grass to be fixed to. That's not best practice because timber rots. A lot of people are saying use sand. That's fine but sand does wash and also if you've got pets it holds the smell of ammonia. But here we are on an artificial grass install and we're going to show you how to install it properly. Stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. For a minute. So we've got this curved border going through here. Just putting down some of this MOG type one. And you might see in the videos that oh, I get the hose pipe, wet it down, it makes it easier to compact. It goes down a lot better. This is really dry considering you know I would have thought it would have been wet. But give that a good old wet down. And then for down in the channels, I like using a tarmac tampener, which is that there. Get down in the channels a lot better. It gives these blocks a good bedding to put on. Right, so this is grano dust and this will be described as 6 mil down to dust and this is basically granite chippings. So that's the granite there and this is, well, as I say, grano dust. And for this I'm going to be using something they call a dummy rake or a spazzle. But you can always use the back of another rake for this. And we're just going to screed the top read again.
Right, okay, so end of day one. What a what a day as well. So we've got the the curve down this side which the, the customer wanted. We're gonna give this all a till over tomorrow as well and she's gonna go off and get some bark and we'll just put that down all nice for her. Um got the granite dust on now, so what we've got next is weed fabric and then the artificial Not a bad day, not a bad day's graft.